Cosmos DeFi is finally here with Osmosis. We're excited because we're seeing up to 7,000% APY for LP staking and LP farming. This is obviously going to sharply decline over time, but strike it when it's hot and let's take on our yield farmer hat and let's get some yield farming. So in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to set up your Cosmos wallet, or in this case, the Kepler wallet for the Osmosis DEX and Osmosis platform. We'll do some swaps as well, so you can kind of uh, get some of your first Osmo token and even some of the Cosmos IBC related tokens as well. And if you are also interested in how to LP stake and yield farm, we're going to show you and run you through that as well. So let's just jump right into it. I don't want to waste any time. Hey everybody. So here we have the Osmosis platform. You can find it as osmosis.zone. And so again, we're going to run through setting up on how to enter the lab. Got this crazy uh, DGen Heisenberg going on here. And then we also got the Kepler wallet, which we'll have to go and set up and install. So before we go into the Osmosis platform, again, you want to see some APY. Let's go some crazy APY. And we can see up here, you know, about, so it's been jumping down, I guess, a little bit as well. So we're seeing about 4,000 being on the top end as well, but still, still good. Still good. Got to hit it uh, while it's hot uh, right now in terms of farming. So what you want to do before we get that set up, I'm sure you haven't set up yet, is a Kepler wallet. Um, you have to download the Kepler wallet extension on Chrome, get the code and download it as well. And once you download it, you open up and set up your Kepler wallet. I got some test atom here it's for a demo for you to take a look at. Now you just have to go and send and deposit uh, your uh, atoms into uh, into your platform as well too. So just go take a look at it. And then once you are done, uh, once you preloaded it, uh, your uh, Cosmos into your wallet, what you want to do is you go back to the Osmosis zone. You go ahead and click connect wallet. It automatically connects uh, super fast. And you have to bring your assets onto the platform. So let's go and take a look at that. We have to do the Cosmos IPC deposit. Uh, so we have to go here. And so my Kepler wallet has 700 atoms. Let's keep uh, just a little bit just for gas. And we want to deposit this into the IPC assets. So hit permissions, just approve. A little broadcast. We'll take a quick second here. And hopefully goes the transaction goes through. And transaction is successful. So it says here you have to wait up to 10 minutes to show up on the uh, IPC deposit. Uh, for me, I have not experienced that that long of a wait though. It only took me like uh, just uh, like a two minutes. And we'll take a look here. We'll come back to this screen uh, and refresh this just a little bit later as well. Oh, actually, look, boom! It just instantly did it. Uh, jumped on super fast. So you know, I have some money here on the Cosmos Hub. Now the next step is you want to load up your wallet with a little bit of Osmo because Osmo is the uh, main gas that's going to be used on the Osmosis Dex. Um, they're running a, initially like a zero gas uh, gas fee for Osmo token. Um, so let's go test it out. Let's pick up some uh, small Osmo. Again, you just want to have a little bit of it. Now, what you see here is you might not have. Obviously, it's like a chicken and egg issue. You don't have Osmo, so how are you going to pay with Osmo gas to transact on the platform? Again, you got to do this first. You got to load up on some Osmo. Thankfully, on your first uh, swaps and transactions, uh, you could go and run with zero Osmo uh, as well. So make sure you click this. If you're going to click this, you obviously don't have Osmo, so this transaction is not going to work. So hit approve and wait for the transaction to broadcast as well. Um, I've had this fail a little bit as well. Hopefully it doesn't fail too much. Uh, no, so it's done. And now I have some Osmo onto my wallet for gas. Now let's go back and look at the pools as well. This will help us inform on which uh, assets or uh, 
tokens we want to uh, get in order to uh, provide or but to, in order to join the uh, incentivize uh, LP pools. Um, you know, personally, I'm like in the Akash pool. So I got a little Akash, shout out to Akash as well. They spoke at our event, Greg, uh, building an awesome platform as well. Um, but the, the difference with the, the, between this pool is the 60, you need 60% ratio, 66% versus 34 atoms as well. Uh, but personally, you know, the reason why I've chosen, uh, I guess, uh, AKT as the main farm is I personally see it as a kind of a very uh, stable uh, stable price, uh, if you take a look here, well, it shot up to $4 now, thanks to, uh, thanks to, uh, thanks to farming, but you know, it was just chilling here down in the $3 area as well too. So there wasn't like a sudden like price jump that just, uh, just, uh, happened immediately until today. And this is like the power of Cosmos DeFi now too. Literally just on this play too, you look at some of the upcoming, uh, tokens that will come onto the Cosmos IBC. People want to provide liquidity. They have to kind of buy up uh, some of these tokens. They might go and pick up some uh, Akash. This also happened with an, a few other tokens as well too, XPRT. So with XPRT, yesterday it saw this big wick up, shot up from $8 all the way to 11 Not bad at all. Not bad at all uh, for a jump. So we go back to the pools here. So you want to decide, let's say you want to pick up some more uh, AKT. You want to join in on this pool or, um, or we want to find some other pools here too. This one is getting quite bloated, I'd say, in terms of uh, uh, the APY. Well, I guess the, the amount of people jumping into this pool here. Let's maybe get some of the uh, XPRT up here. Now you can see here there's a few different bonding options. There's a one-day bond. It gives you a less APY rate. There's a seven-day bond. Bond That means... You will have to lock up your assets, your LP, for seven days. And then you get this one APY, and then you do for 14 days, which will give you another little boost of APY as well. Now, it depends on what your, your scope of farming is. You know, personally, I'm kind of like a one-week type of situation. It gives me a little bit more freedom of control. Two weeks is like two years in the crypto land, and I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to ha- – I want to have full control of, of my impermanent loss um, and, uh, you know, I know it's providing that extra 100 to 200% percent, but, you know, I'd, I'd say that this is already a bigger jump already from, uh, two, th- uh, 2,300 up to 2,700. I'm happy, happy with this APY. Again, it's, it's, it's dropping daily as well. One thing you want to also remember too, before we jump into it is when you go to the pools, it distributes, uh, every, uh, 14, 24 hours, um, for me, I'm listening Pacific time, so it drops at 10 a.m. Pacific time as well. That means everybody in the LP pools get the rewards. So what I've noticed, though, at that time is the Osmo price crashes uh, at this hour that it distributes because you know people are instantly dumping um, their Osmo back into the market. So when I saw it, it went back down, it dropped by a dollar um, seven twenty-six down to six twenty-six. Uh, and then now it's shot back up as people are kind of degening and trying to get more Osmo into the uh, farm. So let's say I want to take a look and participate with uh, pool number 13, the Adam and XPRT. We could take a look Sunny at... Cats. So let's say I want to take a look at pool number 13 with the Adam and XPRT pool as well too. So let's take a look at the pools here and take a look at pool number 13 with the Atom and XPRT, which is persistence, has an APY of uh, 2,800 uh, for the 14-day bond. We can take a look at the ratio again, 50-50. So I need to go and swap to get some uh, XPRT so I can provide some liquidity into the LP pools. So let's go take a look, uh, AKT, let's go take half. So let's take about half. It'll take about 450 worth of atoms to transact. And let's do with zero Osmo. Send for broadcast and transact. And it'll take just a moment here. Then shortly after, we will go ahead and provide the LP. So we go back to the pool itself. Then on the top left-hand corner here, click Add Liquidity. 
So we want to add 50-50. Uh, let's go with based on the 386. 727. And there you go. Add liquidity. Let's go to zero Osmo again. And right there, just added some liquidity. Uh, then I can get to choose which bonds I want to start earning with. So we'll go onto the top right hand corner, click start earning. And I want to do the seven day bond. So we'll get all of my tokens for the LP. And let's uh, bond that for this uh, LP farm. Transacting failed. Again, it happens. It might happen. And we might have to just pay some Osmo. So let's see if this one works as well. What I found too, if it doesn't work and fail, again, this is like a common thing that has happened. I had to go in and change the gas, uh, increase this up to even two or three times more. Let's see, hopefully this works. If not, this is this is just like a true tutorial, you know, stuff like that. There you go. So if you run into issue that gas does not work, swap the gas. Increase it by just a little bit. You might have to double it or just keep clocking it a little bit just to see and uh, see if you can make it work. Uh, and then right there, you know, we, we have it bonded. Oh, of course, I accidentally bonded it in the wrong one, uh, not the seven-day one, but in the uh, one-day uh, bond as well too. So this was a mistake again because of the UI and I had to go through and uh, mess with the uh, the settings there. I meant to do seven days, but that's the reality. Don't make that mistake. Double check the, uh, the bond duration before you reset your transaction, especially when it fails. Uh, that's just a, a live fail um, transaction, but you know, it's still farming. Whether I want to unbond it now, you know, I don't want to bond it for a day. Um, but let's go take a look. Let's say, let's just go through the tutorial. Let's say we want to unbond this right now. Uh, again, I'll probably have to set up the gas as well. So it's unbonding. And hopefully I get to restake uh, this as well too. So I actually can. So if I want to get all the rewards, uh, actually it might take a day to get back. Let's see here. Yeah, so this bonding will complete back in a day. Um, which is unfortunate, but you know, that's that's just reality. I wanted to do a quick demo just to showcase um, How it would work as well too when you're trying to unbond as well Fortunately, unfortunately lots of money, but in the sake of tutorial don't make my mistake. This is a uh, this is a uh, my this is my fault uh, Just to show you and save you guys uh, More APY yields as well too. <laughs> that's unfortunate uh, let's go to the airdrop. So if you participate in the fair drop for uh, uh, staking Cosmos, I'm um, going go here and claim. Now, I know people have used Cosmos Station to uh, stake their Cosmos as well to, to get some airdrops. I don't know how they do it or how they did it. Uh, and there doesn't seem to be like an easy way without the Kepler wallet to integrate. I think it's just Kepler wallet for now. Maybe you get to claim your fair drop uh, a little bit later. Claim Osmos. Uh, yeah, there's no easy way to connect your... Uh, Cosmos Station wallet quite yet. If you go to other places, again, you see your assets, staking, you can go stake directly your Osmos as well. I'm not sure what the APY is. So we'll take a look at that and then vote. This is for governance as well. You can vote for more uh, initial liquidity incentives as well as claiming rewards completely uh, as well too. So anyways, we'll take a look at that a little bit later. But uh, that hopefully gives you an idea on how to get started with uh, utilizing the Osmosis and Cosmo uh, DeFi ecosystem. Again, hit that like and subscribe. Follow us at DeFi Summit in our YouTube channel. We talk about all things DeFi as well as host a lot of different uh, tutorials as well too. We also host weekly AMAs where some of the projects also give away some of their tokens to, uh, to participate in the uh, AMA within our communities. Uh, and then also, too, we have an active uh, trading, yield, and degen Telegram channel. So take a look at the comments below. Give us, a, give us a follow and love to hear from you. And personally, you know, I'm excited for more Cosmos DeFi. There's a lot more to come, especially with the Gravity Dex that's coming out uh, next month. So this is just an intro 
I think Osmosis will start adding more pro uh, projects as well. I'm really looking forward to the Luna pools. You know, I'm a big time Luna fan, as well as Secret and many of the other projects that are going to turn on Cosmos IBC. They all have to upgrade still. Luna's waiting for that Columbus 5 IBC upgrade um, to integrate Cosmos IBC. Then we can expect a lot more interest and demand for Luna as well uh, from uh, the uh, DeFi pools. Osmosis is one of them. Again, we have Gravity Dex. Let's look at uh, Gravity Dex uh, Cosmos. Cosmos Gravity Dex, as well as a bridge. So we can bridge assets between, I'm assuming, Ethereum into the Cosmos ecosystem as well. And then we also have another one that I'm looking as a DeFi hub. It's uh, Yumi as well. This was an uh, ex-Tendermint team building a whole cross-chain hub, hopefully for new yield opportunities uh, and more. So we'll see what they uh, are building. They're still uh, super, super new, uh, but backed by some of the best. Uh, Almeda, Coinbase Ventures, Colab, Polychain, and Consensus. Just a little bit of Consensus as well, too. So super excited to see how this turns out. I think Yumi is going to be uh, one of the low-key uh, big projects out there, and I'm excited uh, to see how that goes and, and be part of it as well. So this is a quick, again, tutorial of uh, Cosmos uh, DeFi. Come take a look at uh, uh, my profile as well. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram, and I'll see you guys later.